does not disclose any further details about the interview or where it took place. The agency plans to release a written report and audio file of the interview on March 7th. Ronnie Watts, Chris's father, told ABC his son did not tell him any details about the interview but said, in my heart, I know he didn't kill those girls. Ronnie said his son calls him every night and, quote, knows the Bible inside and out. It's over and done with, the father said, of his son's case. I am confused why the investigators went out there in the first place. So I did a video of the doorbell footage that everybody else has posted. And this other channel, Sherry Weiss, she actually is stating that this is her footage. Even HLN used her footage. Yeah, it's a load of crap. And so I appealed the strike and it was rejected. Even though it was public domain, she is still stating that that is her footage. I'm not sure how she's getting away with this. She's also lying about retaining the footage, and when I went on her live stream, her proof showing that that was her footage was the actual request on the Weld County website where you fill in the information. You basically, you print your name, you sign your name, you put the date in, your address, for the request and all she did was print that out and that was actually her proof and then she stated that she couldn't provide any digital aspect as proof so sherry you know you're really not doing anybody any good by keeping this going in my eyes you're nothing but a liar you did this for greed and even posting two videos of the same footage to try to confuse people on your YouTube channel. That, my friend, is very deceiving. You're trying to trick people, putting two different thumbnails, two different videos, two different dates. I don't even understand how you're still on YouTube. Your whole attitude about this sucks. You show why you're doing this. You're very greedy. You try to say that you are of God. And by lying and then striking other people and then stating in an email, oh, I'm not going to take anybody else's footage down because then that would look like the footage is not mine and it is. Well, actually, you did reverse some strikes. And you chose whose videos you decided to take down. You picked and chose who you wanted to strike. And even Armchair Detective stated in his video, looks to be like this is Sherry's footage, but also looks like somebody recorded it with a cell phone onto a laptop. So I can't say if this is hers or not. It is public domain. Anyways, you all can follow her if you want. I have unsubscribed. I don't see why anyone would want to watch her anyways. I'm not telling anybody to go and thumbs down her videos. Just, you know, if you choose to watch her, go right ahead. But she has shown to me who she really is and why she is doing this. And as far as her GoFundMes, yeah, have fun with that one. Asking for $5,000. You know, you're all, you're in this all for the money. And as far as I'm concerned, your actions speak so loud, especially with this case. You should really be ashamed of yourself. I don't normally do this, guys. I don't normally talk about other channels. But this is... This is just very upsetting to me. I could care less about the money. I could care less about the views. You know, now my channel has a negative 
look as far as YouTube goes. So, hope you feel good about yourself there, Sherry. That's all I'm saying. Much love to you all. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great weekend. God bless.